Okay, so all of them now is I've got two of these transformers, you see. So I connected up each transformer, the two secondaries, into parallel rather than be in series. So I've got 24 volts. Uh, one of the reasons why I was using that was in order to, so I didn't go over the 48 volt because you ended up with like 70 some volts um, DC which was too much for this but at 24 volts coming out you see I've got like you know, sort of 36 volts open 32 volts uh, 33 volts with some load on it so that's well within the range of this uh, this booster and up to 60 volts into that but of course then we're still lacking a little bit on current uh, because those chips there even a single chip I've had it running just under 5 amps before and there's two chips there now, two transistors and uh, we're not even drawing five, 5 amps yet so I wound up the, I connected the second ones to pa two secondaries into parallel as well and then I connected the two transformers together in parallel so we've still got the 24 volt AC but we got the, all the current each winding's got 3 amp, 3.3 amps on it so just a little over 13 amps available now which is uh, much better so and it's all just connected the same way again it still just goes into the bridge rectifier that's good for 25 amps into these a little capacitor bank um, I got a discharge resistor there and then from there of course just out of here into the booster booster to here and got the same we got this on here so you get to see what's coming off this and on here we've got the output of the booster so I get to know what's going into this as well as it says it on here but it's nice to see over there just in case there's anything going too dodgy uh, and of course the two power inputs because they're in parallel too because you can have it um, you can parallel these up and have it for 110 volts have I said that right? Yeah, 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 because I put them in series. It's in series. I've got two inputs. The primaries are 110 volts. And I've got them in series. So it does 240 volts, you know, in. And the same for there. And they're just connected again in parallel. Into, paired into the um, connector block there. Which has got the fuse and everything. I've not got an inrush limiter on it at the minute because I've got one. I just couldn't be bothered to put it back on. Yeah, uh, uh, sure it'll be all right. So I'm gonna turn off this lamp, move it out of the way, just have a little quick demonstration. Let's get that lamp out of the way. Okay, let's turn down to 200 watt. And, uh, so we got 35 watts uh, volts. Sorry over there and 58 there. I think I'm going to pop quite good, doesn't it? Oh, it does as well. So you can see that okay. Uh, we got 58.1 on the input, it says there. So, okay. It's just, uh, just going to be a trial run now, it's not going to be trying to push it to its limit. Oh, keep pressing that twice. Just could break out around about. I've not even got the scope on at the minute because this has all been working okay. So we got the LEDs on. They break out from 14 volts now. 15 volts. 16. There we go. 17 volts. A bit of break out. Just going to turn it up here to. Like 30 volts or something. There we go. Probably just down a little bit. So just wire up the way. Just doing the edges. Try 
Oh, and the wire just going to stay out of the way. A little bug me now that will. Just because it. Yeah, the wire just moves in like that. There we go. All right. Oh, oh, that does look a bit more. Looks more powerful. It does. It's all. Okay, well. You got nearly 3.5 amps, 120 uh, T watts, 38 volts. We've still got some voltage so we can go up. So we're on 40 volts now. Oh, that's a good thing to do that. That's 150 watts, 42, 42 volts. Uh, we're on 45 volts. So we're still just growing that 200 watts. But no worries about anything messing up. I'll back it off. Just so I can keep a check on temperatures. Okay. And again, the little DP5015. Didn't even fluctuate. The fan doesn't even come on. Because there's not enough going on. That's oh, actually cold. It's not got any warmth. Yeah, they're still cold. A little tiny bit of warmth. No, no, no I'm not even going to say that because they're cold to the touch, like the touch of a cold bit of metal, and that's just room temperature, really. So. Okay, still the same sort of setup, but I stuck this on. This is a, a vitamin tub, and I just wrapped it up in tin foil. <laughs> so uh, I'll just do the output. Okay, let me just chat. Should be right for a minute or two. Some little oscillation over there. It's gonna help it break out. I can imagine it's probably getting quite warm here, it is, it's hard to turn it down, that's in 230 watts, I'll just show you that. Seems to work alright, and this seems to be uh, certainly working okay as well. I got a little bit of a puzzle. <clears throat> I wonder if anyone can help me out here. A fan from out of the com computer power supply that's connected up to this power supply here. This power supply runs off my batteries. Yeah? So it just goes through to the charge controller down below the desk 
to the batteries. Nothing to do with this AC circuit, any of this. Nothing to do with it. Completely different thing. This is wired to the mains, through the boost, through this, and this is to the batteries. Now watch this look. So let me just uh, set it going. So we've got oscillation, right? And um, we're on 12.6 volts over there. I hope you can see that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? That's really bright. Um, okay. So 12.6 volts there, right? So I'm going to turn this up. So we got this little oscillation. Listen to the fan. Turn it back down. As I go up, and it goes down in voltage. And it still goes down in voltage. Not drawing any more power or doing anything strange over there. Hundred and thirty six volts. Watts here. Just curious as to why that does that. How strange. Just uh, a quick a quick one just to show it can get um, 300 watts. Like come on, yeah. For some reason my fan was pointing down, got break out. over 300 watts, just over 6 amps, 50, 50 volts. You can have a look, um, see what it's like when I try to pull some plasma from it. Set up full blast. Not quite in there. Oh, I went from my finger. <laughs> 